Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of Shield Classroom. My name is Ram and I'm a Cyber Secretary Specialist at Manage Engine. In today's episode, we'll be talking about SIM and SOAR, that is Security Information Events Management and Security Orchestration Automation and Response. We'll be going over what SIM and SOAR are and what the differences between them are. So let's first start off with what SIM is. Security Information and Events Management well, this is a term that we first heard way back in 2005. So this term is not entirely new. In fact, it's pretty old. Let's first understand what this is all about. Now, in any network, you'd have different kinds of network components. For example, you could have things like your Active Directory environment. You could have your databases. You could have your file servers. You could also have your cloud environment. So, a network environment is a very complex thing. You could have all of these different kinds of components. And you could have various different kinds of devices uh, as well within a network environment. When it comes to your SIM, it's got to be capable of getting all of these activities logs from these network components. Right? So your Active Directory could have a whole lot of authentications and authorizations going on within it. And you'd want to make a sense of what's going on over there. So too with your databases with your file servers and within your cloud environment also. So for example, you could have your AWS or Azure. There could be a whole lot of activities happening there. So any SIM solution that you use should be able to connect to those log sources and should be able to collect all of those logs and bring it to a central repository from where analysis can be made. So that is the overall objective of a SIM solution. So it's got to be able to collect logs from multiple different log sources, bring it to a central location and analyze these logs. So log collection is the first capability that's important for a SIM solution. Then going forward, you'd also want to be able to parse and categorize these logs to make sense, to go deeper into these logs and, and look for patterns within these logs. So that is what parsing and categorizing is all about. And then correlation and reporting, a very, very critical capability for any SIM solution. Uh, because an event A happening all by itself in one part of the network well, it could give you certain information, and it could be malicious or maybe it's not malicious. Let's say that there is another event B that happens within two minutes of event A happening. And then further, there is an event C that happens within two minutes of event B happening. So your SIM solution has got to have the capability to correlate all of these three events together and say that, well, this is something that's not expected. It's an alert. So it's got to be able to correlate things send out an alert to you, and also report all of these findings. So all of these are what make up a SIM solution. Now, let's talk about what SOAR is, S-O-A-R, Security Orchestration Automation and Response. Well, SOAR has become more prominent, more well-known over the last four or five years, and a whole lot of SIM vendors now have SOAR capabilities built in. When it first came out, Right? Uh, when people first started doing automation, uh, it was not really a different capability of a SIM solution, but source solutions were actually standalone solutions. But in today's day and age, the next-gen SIM solutions are what's, you know, uh, well, they have the source uh, capability built into it. So a SOAR is nowadays a built-in capability of a next-gen SIM. But what exactly is SOAR? Well, first off, you'd need orchestration and automation. Uh, like I said earlier, you could have various different components within your network. You could have your AD environment, you could have your databases, file servers, cloud, and so on. But is there a way to automatically discover these devices within your network? Well, that's an automation. And that is also a capability within your SOAR. Can you use AI and ML instead of a security analyst writing rules all the time? Uh, a normal SIM solution would require the security analyst to write rules and then look for uh, instances where those rules are breached and then alert you. Whereas when you use AI and ML, so you're actually using automation, a security analyst is not writing any rules, but the system learns on its own. It can look for anomalies when it comes to time, count, or pattern. And the way it looks for anomalies is it looks for things that are out of the normal. So a baseline of expected activity is set for every user and entity within the network. And anytime an activity gets performed that goes beyond 
what is expected from that particular baseline, it gets tagged as an anomaly. So that is how AI and ML is being used, a very, very critical capability to have within your SOAR. You also have incident creation. This is where a SOAR solution really, really goes very deep, right? So you have your normal alerts that are given to you through your SIM, but is there a way to bring all of these alerts together in a very logical fashion and also uh, in a very automatic fashion so that you have larger incidents being created? So that is what incident creation is all about and a source solution is able to do that for you. A source solution is also able to give you a response. So here you would have an automated workflow being triggered whenever an alert gets triggered or whenever an incident gets triggered. This is completely automated, uh, like I said. And this is the first line of defense. So a security analyst does not need to wait uh, for a very long time uh, to get the alert, make sense of it, and then respond to it. Instead, they would rely on the SOAR capability to automatically respond. At least the first line of defense is taken care of. So it is autom automated uh, threat response. Resolution is yet another capability of a SOAR, uh, where the SOAR or your next-gen SIM is going to integrate with ticketing tools such as Manage Agent Service Desk Plus, or for that matter, any ticketing tool. And then a technician is able to look at the alert that is generated within the ticketing tool and then take it to its logical end. So resolution is, again, a very, very important capability to have. Now, I spoke about all of this. One thing that I did not mention as of now is threat intelligence, which is becoming extremely important in this day and age, where uh, a SIM solution, a next-gen SIM solution with SOAR capabilities is able to connect to threat intelligence feeds and is able to look for threats that are no, about, about which not a lot of information actually exists as of now or as of that time. Uh, so again, uh, you know, this is an integration, an, ex, uh, an integration with a third-party threat intelligence feed provider. And again, uh, it's a very, very important, important capability to have within your next-gen SIM. And that forms uh, the core of your SOAR capability as well. So like I said earlier, uh, in today's day and age, a SIM and SOAR is supposed to come together. AI and ML is also supposed to come together with this. So a SIM, SOAR, and AI and ML capability is what is known as UEBA, or User and Entity Behavior Analytics. Uh, they all are actually coming together. Um, so they're all you know, basically three different uh, stands of the same thing. Uh, so you'd want your SIM, SOAR, and UEBA to work in tandem. So that's what a SIM and SOAR uh, are, and this is what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, please take care.